This is um, a demonstration of how I produce a storyboard using Clip Studio Paint. The um, great thing with storyboards is to, when you start them, is to actually not get sucked into each of those individual frames. So what I usually do is I just very roughly, and you can see this is very, very rough, I just break the thing down into uh, frames and start to draw. The advantage of doing it this way is that you feel that you're not over committing to any individual uh, frame and it does actually help you to keep the motion, uh, which is very important in this exercise, going so that you're looking at the overall pattern and um, having a succession of frames one after the other on a piece of paper which is as close as you're going to get using uh, Clip Studio Paint. It is a fantastically responsive piece of uh, software. But it does actually ensure that you keep um, you keep your thought processes fresh and you don't get sucked into over obsessing over small amounts of detail which actually if you're doing a storyboard uh, bearing in mind the number of seconds that this is going to be running I mean this is going to be something like 30 seconds it's you haven't actually got t time to absorb that much detail uh, the detail that is there will be absorbed in a subconscious way so it, it, it is good to have um, areas of, of detail but um, the overall power of your storytelling is going to be very much dictated by how simple how clean and how logical you make the uh, shapes and what you're trying to do is to follow through from one panel to the next and uh, there are various little tricks that you can use just to keep the flow. Flow is very important uh, and it is really nice to to uh, counterpoint the flow with uh, with some inventive uh, ideas and you can see that uh, we've got a little figure and the little figure uh, starts off in blackness so you don't actually see the little figure it then opens the door and that lets in light and then the little figure proceeds to run off uh, down a slope and he's got a back cape he is in fact Vlad the Bad one of the uh, one of the fiends from Spook Squad who uh, makes life very difficult for uh, the, the four girls that are the main protagonists of Spook Squad and that's Emma, Lena, Nita and Roxy. But we're having fun today with Vlad the Bad and it's a very very simple idea just you know it's always good to have a, a, an idea of what you want try and keep it simple for something like this and he, st he starts off uh, in what is could loosely be described as his castle and he's opening the door he's racing down the slope and he's taking off with the aid of his cape he's transmogrifying himself into a bat he's flying over a landscape we see the landscape changing from mountains into buildings this is spook city he's landing in spook city and we're just putting in finally these little accent colors which is again part of the branding for Spook Squad we've got uh, the red which indicates an element of menace and um, we're just at the stage now where we're just actually sort of putting in tone just to actually add style okay that's it and I hope you enjoyed it bye for the moment